Good morning guys. So I have just dropped off Layla for preschool this morning and now I am going to go pick up the food shop which is kind of exciting because like I said before we have not had a proper food shop in a couple of weeks so I'm excited about having like fruit and vegetables again in the fridge we've been running so low recently so um so yeah I'm gonna go pick that up and then head home Hey guys, so I've been working on this cowl this morning, um, a little bit here and there. I've now finished the second contrast colour, I've cut off the the rest and I'm ready to join the next colour. So I've done another 10 repeats of the pattern, I've just unpinned this so you can see how long it's gotten. Um, it's just a little trick that I do, I use a removable um, progress keeper, marker, whatever you want to call it, stitch thingy. Um, to hold the cowl closed while I'm knitting on it so it's not so long and like making it a bit more cumbersome to, to go round and round. So this is where we're at now. So this was all in that first skein of the contrast colour and then from that sort of very pink row up is the next skein of contrast colour. Lighting's a bit weird right now but hope you can see the difference in sort of the brightness. This is a lot brighter and this is a little bit more muted. And then, oh, this is the next skein to go in. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's the next one. Yeah, I realised I haven't properly checked in today. Went to Dropped Off Nugget this morning, did the food, picked up the food, um, came home, sorted that all out, sat down, got on with some work. And um, I think I filmed some clips of me sorting out my scraps and leftovers and minis and all that sort of stuff um, into baggies for Christmas knitting, like I said. I was going to do some more pinwheel blanket blanket blocks and I think by the time Christmas rolls around I'll have an I have enough now for seven blocks and I'm like halfway to the eighth block so I think by the time Christmas rolls around if I finish this cowl I'll have enough to do an eighth block of leftovers um, from leftovers rather and so if I can get those eight blocks done over the Christmas period that would be great and that will bring my total number of blocks completed up to 50 and then there'll only be 10 oh sorry shook the camera there there'll only be 10 more to go after that so so yeah so that shouldn't take too long i haven't fully decided what i'm going to do today i've decided this week i'm going to take things a little bit um i'm going to take it a little bit slower this week with work i mean i still have some work i have to do but it's nothing too i've done most of it in the last couple of weeks that i needed to get done in, in december which is nice so i could take things a little bit easier this week I have a few sort of personal projects I want to tackle, try, practice, whatever, and um, and yeah, so that's that for now.
guys so it is now the evening or late afternoon is half five today has been a day it has been a day and a half <laughs> honestly today feels like the longest day in the world um nothing bad just a lot going on that i can't talk about right now and it's just um yeah today was a day and hopefully one day i'll be able to tell you more about it today's not that day but <laughs> all that to say it was not a hugely productive day. Thankfully, I have set aside time this week to not do a huge amount of work. So, <laughs> um, it wasn't that bad. I don't feel too bad about it. Um, but now, Perry's gone to pick up Layla and I'm gonna get started on some dinner. I think tonight we're gonna have salmon with sweet potato and carrots done in the active fry, so our air fryer, and then a little salad on the side as well. We've been really bad with food lately and I'm trying to get us back on track with some healthier meals before the Christmas indulgences um, really kick in. I mean, we're still having little treats here and there, but um, generally for our main meals, I'm trying to be a bit better about it. So, so yeah, no excuses. <laughs> Yeah, do you know what day it is? What number it is? Four. What number is it on the peg? Number one and number five. So what do you think that is? I don't know. How so it goes 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 14, 14, 15. There you go, it's 15. It's day number 15. One and five is 15. All right, are you gonna find your, are you gonna find daddy's? Please. Or is he gonna have to do his own one? There it is. I got it. Good. Oh, whose daddy got snuggling with him? Me. Yeah. <laughs> I have a little treat for Hugo after. Could I get him it? Yeah. They're the same? Yes, they're the same. Yeah, it's the same. Which one do I get? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's like it's been so long. <laughs> I've tried to eat daddy's plants many times, but he gets so angry. <laughs> for victory. <laughs>
so it is now the evening and Perry's working tonight he's got a super busy week this week and uh, yeah so I've just finished plying the fibre I started spinning today Ooh, I'm trying to get it off the bobbin one-handed or off the wheel one-handed and there it is so I am going to wind this off and probably soak it tomorrow and uh, yeah this one definitely had a much better spinning experience with this um, after the fiasco I had with the last round don't know if I told you or not but the first couple of like practice spins that I did after getting the wheel back out just didn't turn out very well and I don't know what happened but anyway <laughs> this one's turned out much better so thankful <laughs> for that and uh, yeah so I'm gonna go edit the vlog and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye